Good morning, Internet. Uh, it's Wednesday, and I have to go open the game store. And there's Steve. He's working from home. And there's Dina. And there's Ichi. Okay, I gotta go. I'm late. It's really quiet. It's pretty quiet during the weekdays, uh, just because the location and kids and stuff are in school, so we usually don't get a lot during the day. So today is Pokemon Camp, and I'm gonna tell you guys about Pokemon Camp because somebody was like, I wanna know about Pokemon Camp. So today's <laughs> vlog is gonna be about Pokemon Camp, I guess. Um, but Pokemon Camp is every Wednesday. Uh, there's a school near here, it's a private school, and it gets out at two o'clock on Wednesdays. And so we offer a service where I will go and pick up your kids from the school at two o'clock when they get out and then bring them here. And then we have Pokemon camp until like 4.45. So it gives the parents like an extra day where they don't have to pick up the kids super early and the kids get to play Pokemon. Uh, every kid that attends Pokemon camp every day, they get a booster pack. Well, every day they attend, they get a booster pack. And whenever they play like actual Pokemon matches, they'll get points and they can redeem those points for Pokemon products at the store. So that's Pokemon camp. Um, I usually have a couple decks made that I can play the kids with if uh, there's like an odd number of kids that day or some of the kiddos don't really have decks or they don't really have good decks because they can't, their parents can't afford to like buy them a lot of Pokemon cards. So they use my decks. And the two decks that I have, the kids have figured out how to beat. <laughs> the one deck, I'll have to get it out. It's in a big, and it's in a box that has Ichi approved on it. And the kids, when I pull out the Ichi approved deck, they used to be like, oh no, I don't want to play that deck. Um, but they figured out the weakness and like, Two camps ago, the kids showed up and they were like, I made a grass deck, which is totally the number one weakness of the Ichi approved deck. So I have to make a new deck that will counter against their decks so that I can once again dominate against those kids. Yes. I accidentally broke the website, whoops. So I spent the day debugging WordPress and now I'm on my way to pick up Pokemon kids. So the whole idea behind the Pokemon thing was during the summer, we were doing a summer camp for magic and role-playing games at the store, or they were, I didn't work there yet. And there was like no signups for the role-playing. I was like, huh, why don't you guys do a Pokemon camp? And they were like, well, we'd have to have somebody run it. And I was like, oh, I'll run it. So we did four sessions of Pokemon camp and they went really well, super fun. I enjoyed them, the kids loved them. And then, some of the parents asked me like if we did an after school Pokemon because there's an after school magic. And I was like, huh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> so we figured out the dates and we did it. We didn't like advertise it at all. We just told our camp kiddos and like it filled up immediately. <laughs> so the idea is they come, they have to bring one deck and they just play Pokemon and they get points. And the idea is it's a fun place for them to come and play and like they learn strategy and they get a little better at the game. But yeah, sometimes we play board games. Sometimes it's just Pokemon, but I want them to like build strategy and have fun playing the game that they love. Sort of like chess club, but with Pokemon and less strict. <laughs> Pokemon's done, much quieter. So I'm gonna get some 
dinner, and then it's gonna be game night here, so we're gonna sit up, and then I go home and do games and stuff there. So I'm gonna go out the back to the sushi cart because there's a sushi cart behind the shop. Ta da! is starting but I'm off so I'm gonna go home and see Steve and then I have to do work for other jobs and also edit SM vlogs. Hey. But um, across the street from the game store there's a bunch of food carts and so if you come to game night which is on Wednesdays you are more than welcome to go get food, food carts and then you can go and eat at the game store while you're playing. So. Especially if we do the thing where like the the rare icons aren't the rare icons are less likely to show up on those low hour cards. Cool. So I'm home. Uh, Steve said sushi, and Steve is having a design meeting with his co-designer, and I. Everybody am, should have a co-designer. Everybody should have a co-designer. I am editing. Uh, I have to do some website work for the game store still. Sorry, the cat's moving the camera. Um, but I really need to get SMD3 down and I spent a lot of time on the website today and I don't really want to do it more. So I'm gonna edit SMD3 and yeah, super exciting fun times. <laughs>
So I recorded me editing, and it took me 26 minutes to edit six minutes of footage. Uh, and the footage was mostly montage footage of like us getting to the con. So, yeah. Fun fact. Also, when I get into edit mode, this is what the cat does. We put the glow in the dark band on her, and she like got it on her midsection. And then down there, I have Chewy eating Ichi. Working on a Chewy. So yeah, when I sit and edit, I get all the creatures. Also, that humming that you hear is a dehumidifier because we got a dehumidifier, and now I'm gonna go back to editing. Woo! I like when something's happening. This. Mm. Yes, cubs. Okay. There were so, so many sports that men are having feelings. Bonnie with the save. <laughs> so uh, apparently, the Cubs just won the World Series. Now the real game in begins. the tenth inning. I hope you people who associate your personal identity with the Cubs are happy. So does Chicago basically cease to exist now? Yeah. People in Chicago are climbing fences to watch TVs in people's houses because all the bars are full. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Well, congratulations, Cubs. I guess we're we're not sports people. How how was the sports? How was how was the sports? Mm-hmm. I would show you the puppy, but I bet you can't find Zena because. Oh. Black dog and the actually I saw the glint of metal. She's over there. Yep. Yeah. We need a glow in the dark dog. dog. Did you hear Ramsey? <laughs> Hi, Zena. Look, we can see you because there's light. I love that. Is that the first time she's on the vlogs? I think it might be. I love that jump of it. Zena me. She just, just like, jumps. Hi. Okay, so it's 11:20 at night, and I have a hundred more clips to edit. I don't know what that equates to. This room feels so much better because it's easy humidifier. I think I'm gonna put it in the bedroom tonight. Um, but it's 11:20, and I was like, I have to edit this still and check other things. But I'm really tired, so I think we're gonna go to bed early. Hi. Phew. Uh, tomorrow is another day, and this video probably mm. won't be up until like lunchtime. Mm. I'm gonna edit it in the morning. Mm. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this no flomo, which was the second no flomo, which showed a pretty good example of what a Wednesday is like in this house. Night, internet. Night, internet. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm moving the dehumidifier to the bedroom, and I was like, I want to see how much water we pulled out, and this is how much water we pulled out in like four hours. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good purchase. <laughs>